Hey, what is going on guys? It's DK. Back at you with another video here to show you guys how to be a successful CSGO. That's Counter-Strike CSGO Daily Fantasy Sports Player. So this is a little bit of a different video than normal. Normally, right, I'm, I'm breaking down Daily Fantasy Sports Slates. In this one, I'm going to be talking about everything CSGO. So how the game works, how it's scored on DraftKings, what I use to kind of build lineups, you know, obviously taking a look at Vegas odds, taking a look at HLTV.org, which is where I go to for all the stats, and then kind of talking about roster construction too, and then you know if you're playing cash games, if you're playing GBPs, how to attack both formats. So if you guys have been enjoying the content so far, I'd really appreciate it. If you have a like button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos when I go live. Closing in on 6,000 subscribers now on YouTube, so it would be greatly appreciated if you guys could hit that like button. Uh, also, if you cannot watch the YouTube videos, I do upload an Apple podcast. The link is in the description below, which is the DKDFS show. But with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So uh, before we kind of get into the in-depth uh, breakdown with everything CSGO, let's review uh, how it's scored on DraftKings. All right, so let's take a look at the scoring here on DraftKings. So you get 1.5 points for every kill, 1 point for every assist, and minus 1 for every death you get a half a point for an entry kill. So that is the first kill in the round. Uh, and then you get some points for clutches. So one point for a 1v2 clutch, two points for a 1v3 clutch, three points for 1v4 clutch, five points for a 1v5 clutch, uh, and three points for a quad kill, five points for an ace, which would be killing every single person on the other team, which would be five. And then rounds not played bonus. This is also important to talk about. You get Half a point for every round not played. So there's 30 rounds in CSGO. If a team wins 16 to nothing, right, then there's 14 rounds not played. So you would get seven more points. And then the match sweep bonus is plus five. So it's a best of three CSGO. So if you're if the players on uh, your roster win 2-0 in their match, then you get plus five plus uh, the 15 points for that game not played, right? So it'd be 30, 30 rounds not played. Right, so that would be 15 plus the five for the match sweep, so that'd be plus 20. That is important to note for the scoring for CSGO. So uh, before we talk about you know the Vegas odds and uh, you know take a look at HLTV.org, I want to thank Prize Picks for sponsoring the show. If you guys are not familiar with, with Prize Picks, well, it's a website where you can bet on player props, or you're betting over unders. So Prize Picks does have CSGO. Uh, projections as well, right? So uh, you'd be betting on the first two maps, right? If you want to go over or under, for example, device, over or under 40 and a half fancy points, right? And you can pick anywhere from two to five players and win up to 10x your money. Uh, it's a really nice change of pace here from DraftKings where you're not playing against anyone. So if you guys are interested, you can use the code DKDFS. That's all one word, DKDFS. I will have a link in the description below 100% match up to $100. So if you put $100 in, you get $200 to play with. But, all right, now let's talk about how I will attack this slate uh, for research purposes. So we have, uh, for Wednesday slate, a four-game slate. So first what I would do is I would go to uh, Bovada and take a look at the odds. So let's go up to the top here, and we have Furia and G2. Right, so this one, currently it's almost a pick -em. If you look at the odds here, minus 120 G2, minus 115 Furia, right? So that's basically a pick -em. Mouse Sports and Godsent, Mouse Sports are, are currently minus 275 favorites, so almost 3 to 1 favorites. And then it's Mad Lions and Envy. Mad Lions a little over 3 to 1 favorites, are currently minus 315. And Dignitas versus OG, OG the biggest favorites on slate at minus 650. So it's important to note these Vegas odds uh, when we're, we're obviously talking about cash games and GPPs. So next what I would do is take a look at uh, each of these teams and go to hltv.org, which has all the stats for CSGO, and kind of look to see where production is coming from from these players. So first, let's take a look at Mad Lions, right? So Mad Lions, again, it's 5v5, so there's five players on the roster. Um, and this is, again, this is hltv.org. We can take a look at how players perform. Uh, again, you can set this, but I have it set to three months. So if you look at Hoopsie, right, he's averaging 0.62 kills per round, 0.69 deaths per round. Not great, right? Uh, obviously a negative kill to death ratio, or he's averaging more deaths than he has kills. 
we take a look at a core, well, that's a lot better, right? He's averaging 0.75 kills per round, 0.60 oh, deaths per round. So, um, obviously, one of the better players on the team. Same thing with Refresh, right? 0.78 and 0.65 as far as kills per round, deaths per round. So, Josh, 0.66 and 0.64, so about even. And then Roy, 0.66 and 0.70, slightly negative. So, you kind of get a good idea, right, of the two top players for Mad Lions, right? It would be a core and it would be Refresh. So, now what I would do is take a look at the pricing here. So looking at the pricing, we have a core at 9.8K, refresh at 8.4K. So looking at their stats, right, a core actually averages more kills per round. Sure, he does uh, have slightly more deaths per round than a core, but if you look there, and again, I would say they're about even, right, refresh a little bit more kills per round, uh, a core uh, slightly less deaths per round, and if you look at the pricing, a core is at 9.8, refresh is at 8.4K. So that would be one where, yeah, I'm going to favor refresh there. So um, that's kind of what I do when, you know, kind of digging more, digging deeper into HLTV.org and, and these stats, right? I look at how the players are performing recently and then kind of take, take into account pricing and, and kind of go to see what the best play is on the team. So in my opinion, you know, the best top play on the slate, or the top play on Mad Lions would be Refresh. I prefer the discount with him than I do a core. Now looking at value, right, you have Hoopsie at 6K, Roy at 6'6", Shajush at 7'4". If we go back here, uh, Hoopsie's not someone I'm super interested, right, 0.62 kills per round, 0.69 deaths per round. Roy, slightly negative, uh, Shajush slightly positive. So Roy's at 6'6", six, six, Josh at 7'4". Again, that's a tricky one if you're going to make me pick between those guys. Probably would still slightly give the edge to Shajush for a little bit more. But you get the idea, right? That's kind of how I go about it. You know, we can kind of do the same thing for Envious. Envious, if you scroll through their players, uh, it's kind of clear where the production comes from, right? It's obviously Calyx averaging 0.79 kills per round, 0.66 deaths per round. Um, you can scroll through, right? Everyone else, Thomas, Nifty, Logica, uh, all negative. Uh, Michu, slightly positive. So you know you know, where the production come from. It's Calyx, and it's a little bit from Michu. Uh, again, we have Envious as underdogs here. So it does, you know, DraftKings did a pretty good job taking price uh, or, or kind of pricing that into it, right? With Envy being plus 225 dogs, they're a little bit cheaper, right? Calyx is the top play uh, or the top player on Envy. Uh, you're getting a nice discount, 7.6K. So um, if we take a look at, um, well, let's just review everyone uh, on this slate. So Mouse Sports, right, well, let's scroll through here. Kerrigan, a negative. Chris J, negative. Bmos, slightly negative. Rops, again, you kind of know where uh, where the kills are coming from, right? 0.8 kills per round, 0.63 deaths per round. Then Frozen, slightly positive as well. So looking into price, looking to Mouse Sports, you know, DraftKings, right, they price them up, 10K. But he is the guy that you know, it, most of the time is going to kind of ca carry this roster. And you can, kind of, you can do the same thing with Godsent, right? You can scroll through uh, an HLTV.org and kind of see who who's performing the best. So if you scroll through really quick, you can see, obviously, you know, it's Zen, it's Farleg, both, you know, averaging pretty pretty similar stats, right? Farleg, 0.73 kills round, 0.64 deaths round. Zen at 0.75 and 0.65. Looking at pricing, Zen's at 7K, Farleg's at 6.4. So almost identical plays on HLTV.org. You get a little bit, you know, $600 difference. So again, if you're making me pick there, I'd probably slightly prefer Farley. You guys get the idea. And we'll, we'll go through these last couple games too really quick. G2 and Furia. So this is an odd situation. G2 is a team that uh, actually does use six players. Like they will rotate in with uh, Aminac and Jack. So if you're targeting players for DraftKings, like I would just stay away from both Jax and Aminac because they've kind of, again, rotated in sometimes they'll rotate maps so that's just a situation i don't want to take the risk on playing someone and maybe they don't play at all or they only play one map so yeah that's a unique situation but um yeah i would stay away from Amanac and jacks there looking at the pricing for g2 right we have uh, nico new edition 0.78 kills per round 0.68 deaths per round hunter 0.75 and 0.69 kenny s about even uh Amanac slightly negative nexa about even so really again it would be hunter it would be uh nico Nico, $1,200 more. So, yeah, I'd probably slightly prefer Hunter to Nico. And if you look at Furia, right, Henny's at 0.73 kills per round, 0.57 deaths per round. Art, uh, negative. 
Yuri, definitely positive, right? 0 0.77, 0 0.62. Vinny, about even, and Caserato positive as well. So kind of know where the production is coming from with Furia, right? It's Caserato, it's Yuri, it's Henny. Um, and Yuri's at 9K, Henny's at 8K, Caserato's at 7K. You can even see, you know, the fantasy points per game. They're all three averaging about 65 fantasy points. So, yeah, I'm just going to take, you know, if you're going to make me pick, I'm just going to take the discount there with Caserato. Uh, and then finally, OG and Dignitas. OG are the biggest favorites of the day, right? If you go back to Bovada and take a look at the odds, uh, let's go to uh, OG. They're currently minus 650 favorites. So, they, again, are the, the team you can feel the most comfortable with. You can even see, right, uh, if you scroll down a bit, you can see their head-to-heads. Now, OG and, and Dignitas have not played head-to-heads, but you can see head-to-heads. You can see past matches to see how they're doing. So, again, there's a ton, a ton of stats here. Uh, but, yeah, if you scroll through OG, Mantu is their opper. If you guys are not familiar with the op, it, it's the best gun in the game. It's a sniper rifle, usually a one-shot, one kill. Uh, most of the time, teams will have one opper. So, uh, that is kind of important to know where the op, or who uses the op in each team. Uh, Issa, slightly positive as far as kills per round, deaths per round. Alexi B, slightly negative. Valde, positive. NBK, positive again. You guys get the idea. Dignitas, the biggest uh, underdogs in the slate, right? They're all DraftKings kind of priced them down. I think they have everyone actually negative. Uh, or Halzerk is the only one that's slightly positive, everyone else negative. So, yeah, that's kind of how I go about it. You know, again, I take the Vegas odds consideration. I look at the stats, and then kind of compare the prices, right? Wh who is the best, you know, point per dollar, uh, you know, guy in each team? And for roster construction now, so this is a situation, right? Are you playing cash games? Are you playing GBPs? Well, let's first talk about cash games. So for cash games, my strategy would be target the favorites. So who are the favorites on this slate? Well, Mouse Esports, or, or Mouse Sports, I should say, almost uh, three to one favorites. Mad Lions, three to one favorites, and OG, uh, over, almost 7-1 to one favorites. So, you know, how I would go about building a cash game lineup? Well, I would probably just look at the favorites. So, Mad Lions, Mouse Sports, OG, and then build a roster from there. Oh, sure, right, that G2 Fury game is interesting for GPP purposes, but for cash games, not necessarily. I don't want to target it because it's basic coin flip. And can you play players, you know, from... Uh, in the same game against each other, right? So can you play someone from G2? Can you play someone from Fira in the same lineup? You can. Like, the way that that would work out is you would need a really close game, and you probably need it to go all three games, like a close match. Uh, but most of the time, you know, for roster instruction, I like building, you know, usually the slates are about three games, so I like building like 2-2-2 two, 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 or 3-2-1. Now, if the slate's bigger, right, if there's a lot more uh, games involved, then it's different. Say there's like a six-game slate, then you can make an argument for like a 2 2 one, one or like a 2 one, 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 one right? So you kind of get the idea there for roster construction. But yeah, for cash games, that's how I would go about it. I would probably target the favorites, uh, that being OG, that being Mouse Sports, that being Matt Lions. And we have one captain as well. That's 1.5x the salary as well as 1.5x the, um, the uh, score. So in my captain spot, unless I feel pretty good, unless I think there's like a, a really big mispricing on one of the value plays, normally I, I want to get one of those top guys in the lineup that just have a ton of upside in the captain, right? Because it's 1.5x. So, you know, the guys I would consider for cash games for captain, well, probably Mant 2, probably Rops, right? A uh, core, even refresh. That's where I would look if I'm playing cash games. So, um, let's talk about GPPs now. So, for GPPs, I think you can include everyone. Uh, on in your player pool. Now, we've seen some pretty big upsets in CSGO. It is not uncommon for, for a big underdog to win. So, like, if you feel really confident in Dignitas, sure, you can throw them into your lineup, right? They're going to be all very low-owned because people are kind of doing the same thing, right? They're looking at the odds. Oh, they see Dignitas are the biggest underdogs in the slate. They're just going to avoid them. Well, that's one way to get a huge edge because I would say probably everyone at Dignitas will be below 10% owned. And, yeah, for roster construction, again, for, like, a four-game slate, you know, I usually like going probably 2-2-2 two, two, two from the teams I think are going to win or a 3-2-1 or a 2-1-1-1, one, 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 right? So that's the way that I would go about it. And uh, for GPPs, again, I think you can include everyone in the slate, even underdogs, right? So an underdog that I kind of like for this slate tomorrow, I like Envious, right? I, I like the production from Calux. He's underpriced for his role. 
And again, you know where the production is coming from. It's definitely Calyx. He carries this team. If you go back to Envious, sure, they're underdogs, right? But everyone else kind of ho hovering even or negative. And Calyx way up there, 0. 0.79 kills from 0. 0.66 deaths round. So yeah, again, build your lineup from there. But hopefully that helped, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up for the video today. So if you have been enjoying the content so far, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos you know when I go live. Um, and let me know in the comment section, guys, if you like these type of videos, right, how to win in CSGO, maybe I'll do how to win in NBA or NFL or, you know, talk cash games, GPPs, right? If you, like the, if you like the content, if you like these type of videos, let me know in the comment section. But thanks again. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video.